Good afternoon, and this is my new toy. Oh, what have I got? Oh. Yeah, so this is my new toy. Um, drove it a bit to get it from where it come from. Everything seemed fine. As you can see, it's a lovely, lovely mess. Uh, I'm looking at converting this into a camper van. Oh, right, but, but there's a big but. So my problem with it, it's stuck in first gear. So I got it home, oh, all the way back to Liverpool, and it's stuck in first gear, and it will not start, and I'll show you why. So here we go, put the key in. We can get it in, can't get it in the hole. Here we go, so we've got it in. Oh, I know what I've done, I unhooked the battery, give me one. So here we go, it's stuck in first gear. Even though it says neutral, when I bought it, I did actually leave it in automatic when I switched it off, but it's definitely in neutral now. Tight steering wheel. Right, so here we go. And it just won't come out done everything possible you can think of right there we go uh, it just won't come out like I said this is a 2004 right here we go let's go back in the warm car oh. yeah so it's a 2004 model Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter. I think it's very much similar to the, the one of the American car manufacturers um, use the exact same thing. But anyway, um, there was a, a suggestion that someone made to me. I did try that. It was to get under the car passenger side of the gearbox. Is like um, a little device. He said to me, knock it, give it a couple of taps, um, and it should release it, but it hasn't. Right, has anyone out there got any information on this? Has anyone had this problem before in the past? Let's see if we can get this fixed. I want it to be a camper. Look at it, that can be a sexy camper. Sexy, sexy camper. Nice little kitchen area, bed, stove nicer chair for me to sit on who knows it's endless the possibilities but anyone that's had this uh, problem before let me know um if anyone can think of anything i can try let me know uh, i have called a couple of garages out to try and make it easy and for some reason none of them can fit the diagnostic system in because it's a 14 pin and no one's willing to help me but if you know what the problem is let me know Please subscribe, thank you. Right, here we go, let's go back in the warm car. Oh. Yeah, so it's a 2004 model Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter. I think it's very much similar to the, the one of the American car manufacturers um, use the exact same thing. But anyway, um, there was a, a suggestion that someone made to me. I did try that. It was to get under the car. Passenger side of the gearbox is like um, a little device. They said to me, knock it. Give it a couple of taps um, and it should release it, but it hasn't. Right? Has anyone out there got any information on this? Has anyone had this problem before in the past? Let's see if we can get this fixed. I want it to be a camper. Look at it, that can be a sexy camper. Sexy, sexy camper. Nice little kitchen area, bed, stove. Nicer chair for me to sit on. Who knows, 
it's endless the possibilities but anyone that's had this uh, problem before let me know um, if anyone can think of anything I can try let me know uh, I have called a couple of garages out to try and make it easy and for some reason none of them can fit the diagnostic system in because it's a 14 pin and no one's willing to help me but if you know what the problem is let me know please subscribe thank you